Hey, welcome back to Coffee Talk. So in the last episode, uh, we opened up shop to our good writer friend, Freya. We had a couple customers come in, and they had uh, parental problems with their relationship. A bit of fantasy racism. And then we met good old Officer Georgie. Um, before we continue, I, I just wanted to showcase this little drawing from Toasted Milk over in the Discord. It's the Latte Koala. Really cute. Thank you, Toasted. Alright, so, uh, let's continue on with her day. I think Spicy Boy's up to something. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone is coming. Who's that? Oh, hello. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Oh, it's Gala. From Tomodacho. Huh. I didn't notice... I think he has, like... He's got, like, scars and band-aids all over. Uh... I don't know what he is. In terms of fantasy creatures. <laughs> and we got a vampire? Hi, spicy boy. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This is the place you recommended? You don't like it? Hmm. It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but, uh. Gala. It's fine. Uh. Sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. Uh, what do you want to drink? You first. <laughs> okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. <laughs> Alright. Seems like a kind guy. A uh, vampire's a little bit stiffy, but... Uh, they seem alright. Alright, let's make him... Coffee with some ginger. Uh, I guess we could put a little honey in there. Ginger honey coffee. Here you go. Uh, your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. I'm not sure it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Alright. Coffee, ginger, and honey. Well, honey and ginger, but whatever. <laughs> there you go. Uh, here's your order. I'm pretty sure this is not what he ordered. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on. It's the same drink. Uh, oh, let me correct that. Never mind. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm sorry for the mistake. <laughs> How did I fuck that up? Well, that's the same drink. Whatever. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? <sighs> I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not long, uh, not so long after you got married, right? I figured there were boyfriends. Oh. It was around the 60s, I believe. The 60s? Oh, well, that's not surprising. Why am I acting surprised? Well, that was a, a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... 
1865. So, when you guys said that you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? <laughs> Am I calling them old? <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh... You're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Eh, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Jeez. Uh, mister, what are you trying to say? I, I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you've opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about that newfound virus going viral. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Newfound virus? Is the virus that dangerous? No one's sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. <laughs> it's been 20 years, huh? They offered me a man uh, managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. <laughs> To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although, people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order the, through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about blood last? <laughs> God. <laughs> a, a blood market app. Uh huh. Bloodlasts get their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. Do you use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? <laughs> vegan? How does that work? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your deep vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Uh, excuse me for asking. Let me just barge in. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? <laughs> More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Would synthetic blood taste good if mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? <laughs> we can make a real Bloody Mary. It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? 
mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself. <sighs> He's a werewolf? Not yet. But I do know that it's drink. Alright, so they... They get... Oh. So every full moon, I guess they get a... A, a fury? Huh. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Like the thing you're drinking now? Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yeah, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. Oh. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Uh, why don't you use the fairy sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to... do kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fairy. What? What kind of kinky stuff? <laughs> what kind of kinky? Like, like BDSM. That only happens in porn. You've been watching... Have you been watching werewolf porn? Wait, what? <laughs> it's uh, famous among our kind. <laughs> you don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. <laughs> Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. <laughs> What's going on in this coffee shop? You can't just come in here and talk about BDSM. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the fairy. Exactly. So, continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. Uh, we, we don't have any tea today. Uh, yeah, my order hasn't come in. But the next time you're visiting, uh, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Uh. Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. Oh good, he's still not mad about the mix-up. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Alright. Well, that was... That was interesting, Frey. You heard all that? Hey! Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys... Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. <laughs> Wait, you've been watching BDSM? I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf puff playing with the baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know... Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, you... <laughs> I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Jeez. 
Ah, <laughs> jeez. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yeah, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night night. Be careful on your way back. Good night, Freya. Alright. Oh, that was a shorter day than I expected. Alright. Let's read the headlines for today. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orcish Workers Union demands. Make peace. We still have brain. Ah, oh, jeez. Poor orcs. Uh, despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. And vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high schools. So let's start the day. Oh, hello. Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Uh. Milk and honey. Milk and honey. Uh. Let's do milk, milk, and then honey. <laughs> I guess they're different. Here you go. Honey milk. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, this is a coffee shop. People don't really talk. Hey, spicy boy. Uh, seems like there's a cat. Uh, oh my god, she got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Uh. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Got a cat girl. She said, Nyan Nyan. Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! You look like you've just seen a ghost. Uh, no, I mean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw Nekomimi transforming. <laughs> we rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to get mute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Than commuting as a human. Um, I mean, than commuting in a bipedal form. <laughs> kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff for anything? No milk and nothing else. Alright. <laughs> Just make you a nice milk, milk, milk. <laughs> Here you go. Meow. Uh, fresh milk for the lady with a pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? What? <laughs> I just said, girl with a pretty smile. Come on, Freya. I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Oh, the blush. <laughs> uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well... I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. 
How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say, if uh, this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. <laughs> really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Pfft, snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. <laughs> it must be the broke part. <laughs> uh, got him. I don't see you ordering any drinks. Yeah, Freya. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? Oh, geez, really digging in. <laughs> hmm. She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Alright. Here's your espresso, ma'am. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as, good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait, wait a minute. You do look familiar. <laughs> are, are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Valencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her, her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. Well, that brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Drinking milk? Nah, I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, well, we do have a lot of unusual customers. This is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked! I got an achievement. It says achievement unlocked. No, seriously. Why are you here? Uh, well, you know. The usual young fuck's problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Uh, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you? That to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Hmm. I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad... Uh, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession... as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? Oh. Uh, she passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh, Georgie. Good evening, spicy boy. Good evening, girls I never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, spicy boy. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Will do. Green tea with lemon and honey. Uh, 
All right, what do we call this concoction? Cough syrup. <laughs> okay. Here's your cough syrup. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup. <laughs> uh, of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Uh, damn. This is great. <laughs> How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary in your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. <laughs> tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was uh, my salary. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, today's payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We well, got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. And that's str ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, um, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy your time. Uh huh. All right, they're lovely. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I... I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I... I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looks cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? <laughs> how, how did you know? You can read in minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you're, you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. That is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. She's she's 18. <laughs> what do you mean? Is she 18 or is she lying? I don't know. Yeah. Mr. Policeman made me feel much safer already. You know yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Uh, of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> what? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. Your father yourself. Oh, right. Guys, you know, I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. <laughs> anyway, Miss... Uh, Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. 
I fight a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved. An argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Mm. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. <sighs> Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she understood your father. Hmm. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. <laughs> I love how these two strangers are just giving this cat girl random advice. I guess it's helpful, but... Yeah, you can never know. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Mm. Wait a second. You said this has happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run out even farther. <laughs> I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. I just realized I said adult two different ways. Whatever. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give you some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. <sighs> you're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. <laughs> Neko Town? Okay. You just made that up. <laughs> oh. That's, uh, quite far. <laughs> You're still going to drive me home, right? Uh. Old oh, man. Uh, of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. 
Thank you, Spicy Boy and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Spicy Boy. <sighs> Thank God I don't have to juggle three, three people's voices. Well, not like they sound any different, but... Eh. And there they went. Still a lot of reading. Yeah. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Good night, Freya. Uh... Uh, STMJ, warm booster made of susu, milk, tilur, egg, madu, honey, and jahe, ginger from Indonesia. Huh. I gotta write that one down. Friday, September 25th, 2020. Alright, let's see what headlines we got. Werewolf activists in prison for owning illegal fury sedative. God, what happened to your arm? <laughs> Is that from the sedative? Uh, the Orcish Worker Union in talks with their the government over their pleas. And rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro-eco-terrorism lyrics. <sighs> Another day. Oh, it's Vampire Dude. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Alright, I think uh, for now we'll leave the episode there. And in the next one, <laughs> I guess we'll get to know Mr. Hyde better. But, uh, oh, I haven't checked uh, Tomodachi yet. Uh, Freya? journalist and short so short story writer. You can read my surreal and weird short stories at the Evening Whispers. I idolize and aspire to be someone like Gail Naiman. <laughs> Gail Naiman. <laughs> or Maruki Harukami. Alright, Georgie. Uh, born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. <laughs> uh, favorite things? Movies. Police University, Cop Story, and Robert Cop. You don't like Mall Cop? <laughs> what I'm doing with my life, father of three beautiful girls. Alright. Pretty normal family guy. Gala, we still don't know much about him. Lua. Oh, that's the succubus lady. Uh, I have no idea what that says. Some kind of Latin language. Bailey's. Uh. <laughs> Good old generic grayscale profile pic. Uh, freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. Uh, freelance designer, museum, and art gallery frequenter. Art school graduate will draw and design for food and shelter. Hide. Ooh. Ooh, supermodel. Whoa! And Rachel. 
contactrachel.com for business inquiries. Oh, cute. That's the pop group she left, I guess. Oh, look at them. Wait, which one's Rachel? I'm guessing the girl on the right. Alright. Let's close out of that. And... Uh, yeah, let's save. Before we end the episode, I was thinking of making some latte art. I got a couple of requests for latte art. And let's see. Uh, let's see what we can make today. Uh, let's start off with uh, let's start off with a regular latte. Okay, so for this first one, this one's for Cargan for uh, over on the Discord. Uh, I'm gonna make a puppy. Puppy. Or I'm gonna try to make a puppy. Ah, uh, uh, cute. That's cute. Okay. Let's see if we can make, uh... Bup. Uh, bup. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> uh, he's got a, he's got a jowl. Alright, let's see if we can do the eyes without messing up. <laughs> Close enough. Maybe I can fix this? Oh, look! Yeah, there we go. It's a winking puppy, you see? You see? Alright, alright. Don't get too excited, Sarian. Give him more whiskers. Uh... Up. Alright, uh... Lastly, I want to give him... A little heart. I say, close enough. Let's serve it. Beautiful. Alright, so, um, that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. I think this game has really good writing, and I've been really enjoying it so far. Probably one of my favorite things is making latte art. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> This is definitely uh, a casual kind of game, and obviously not for everyone, but I'm liking it so far, and I, <laughs> I can't wait to play some more. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. We have a public Discord server if you want to join, and the link will be down below. You can follow my Twitter to stay updated on new videos and other things. But yeah, remember to take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye.